So I'm going to read something to you because I don't know who here has heard this. And I'm going to go through this very briefly and then I'm going to jump right in the middle of this here and I'm going to tell you where the danger is coming from. So if you can bear with me while I get my 20-year-old eyes working here, it would be good. Okay? You, you can get it yourself. Did anybody read the USA Today? Well, this little homosexual sodomite here. Just to call, <coughs> incidentally, there are four sodomites on the Supreme Court. You've got to start teaching your children. You need to get that five and six year old and teach them their birth certificate, and you need to start pounding it into them. Muslims are passive until they gain parity with you or they exceed you in numbers, and they will kill you. Yep. Right now in the United States, most chiefs of police and sheriffs and lieutenants and above will go to the FBI Academy. When they, go to the I, when they go to the FBI Academy, they come back brainwashed for some reason. When these things start to happen, people are going to start rioting. The EBT cards are going to shut down. Can you imagine what's going to happen in North St. Louis and St. Louis County what's when the EBT cards go down, when the ATM machines don't work? Walmarts and Illinois already, and other places had some problems with that already. Think about that, what's going to happen. When, when, those, when the inner cities start to ignite, People are going to start killing people they don't like. And I'm going to warn the ladies on something. And this always gets me in trouble, but I've got to tell you. This domestic violence stuff, every time a man turns around and gets jammed up by his wife on this, you are heading for troubles, ladies. A man can be arrested now for domestic property damage, domestic peace disturbance, domestic destruction of property, so forth and so forth. And so how can you do that in your own house? You, can't, you can be arrested for domestic trespassing. I've seen people with lines down the middle of the house. Stupid. If you don't like each other that much, just kill each other and get it over with. Problem solved. <coughs> get it done. Don't, don't be wasting cops' time. Just shoot each other and get it over with. they be me. People like me, but on the other side, they're going to kill you. You're going to start seeing people, that person sitting next to you, a few years from now will not be sitting there because they're going to be gone. Because somebody like me is going to come in and kill you. For all you wannabes out here who think you're the baddest thing in the world, i got news for you. You're going to meet bad. And incidentally, the, the states that are going to be attacked are those states passing laws restricting federal government. The 21 states that, that have filed to succeed from the union, that's the targets. That's where they're coming. If you are deducting tithes <coughs> from your, if you are, if you are deducting your tithes from your tax, they're coming to your house because that means you're a religious person. Yep. The definition of a terrorist is a white male, one who believes in Jesus Christ, one who believes in the Second Amendment, one who believes in the third party. That is the definition of a terrorist. You come off of somebody really odd to police. Policemen are very cynical. I know I am. I don't trust nobody, and I hate everybody. So I hate y'all too. I hate everybody. I'm, I mean, I'm into diversity. I kill everybody. I don't care. Uh, Yes, that's true. The Army has a policy now. It's called prophetizing. If you are a Christian, you, can, you, cannot, hang, you cannot mention Jesus anywhere in the barracks, on, on military property, have a Bible displayed or anything like that. And that's true. Them, them down oh, yes, that's true, yes. People are being court-martialed and separated for that. That's true. So what happens because good men like you are all retiring from the military, so what kind of military do you have left then? Sodomites and females. <laughs> I have to get permission from the Army to do this. I'm theirs. They own me. If you want to go that way, you tell the Marine, well, he's got it. But they are being feminized. Yeah. And, and I'm not picking on women, okay? But, but they are being destroyed because of females who are not happy with being women. Yeah. And ladies, I'm going to tell you right now, you better enjoy your femininity. Yeah. Because the day is going to come when you're just going to want to sit and put smelly good on and just relax. It's not going to happen. The Marine Corps Commandant has always been an infantry soldier. Always. But it's no longer that. Now they've got a, a loghead in there, a logistics guy who don't know crap about combat. Right. And he's, he's been doing everything Obama tells him to do. The, so the good Marines are being pushed. And the Marines are not a large force anyway. Now we got our first female Green Beret, our first female Ranger. Ladies, you're going down the wrong road on this because I used to carry a 90-pound backpack in there. That's all gone. But who you better watch for is the, is the contractors. Folks, I'm going to have to end it. My time is out. Thank you.